हेलो एंड वेलकम माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम रोहन सर फ्रॉम मैजी इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल आई वेलकम माय ऑल डियर थर्ड स्टैंडर्ड स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन इन साइंस लेक्चर आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड आई होप यू ऑल आर फॉलोइंग ऑल माय लेक्चर्स ऑफ साइंस एज यू नो दैट we are doing chapter number 7 explanation part is going on so it is very much necessary for you to watch the lectures in the sequence i am giving you and it is being uploaded because if you miss any of the lectures you will not be able to understand the present lecture so it is my humble request that if you have not watched the previous lectures you will have to watch those lectures first only then will you be able to understand the concept explained to you in this lecture so i hope most of my students are following all the lectures in the sequence unless they have any kind of genuine issue anyways now let us continue with the chapter number 7 we were doing in our science as you know that we have started this chapter chapter number 7 parts of a plant and here in this chapter we have completed 3 to 4 pages including the topics of roots functions of root stem functions of stem then leaves and the functions of leaves so in the previous lecture we have completed up till here so i hope you have watched all these lectures and that is the reason why am i asking you to watch each and every lecture in the proper sequence so that you will be able to understand the present lecture anyways in this lecture also you are going to get a great knowledge about the different parts of the plant so Let's get started with today's lecture. I hope you all are sitting with your rough notebook and if you have the textbook you are sitting with your textbooks. Now if you don't have the textbook you don't have to worry. I have been telling you in all the lectures that that is the reason why I am displaying the textbook on the screen so that you will be able to read the original content written in your textbooks. So let us continue with today's lecture. now in the previous lecture let me just revise the point of the previous lecture in the previous lecture we have understood the functions of leaves and not only that but also in the previous lecture i hope that you have observed that two labels important labels were given for the leaves in which leaf blade and veins i have explained you that what is the leaf blade and what are the veins in the leaf now veins are almost as we have in our body we have the veins like this in our body so if you can see that it looks the same as we have now this portion is called the leaf blade the soft and the slippery portion on the leaf that is what we have understood and then we move towards the functions of the leaves there were four functions i have explained you of the leaf in the plant the main thing which you need to remember is the green leaf is the kitchen for the plant as the green leaf cooks the food with the help of air water and light that is sunlight so with the help of these three components a leaf or i should say a green leaf cooks the food for the plant so it is that is why it is called the kitchen of a plant now let's continue with the next topic now before that you have got the activity over here in which it is said that label the parts of the plant correctly then color the part that grows under the ground in the brown and the above the ground in the green so you have to color and label this diagram and i hope my dear students if you have watched my previous lecture 
or previous to previous lecture that is my first lecture of chapter number 7 we have already labeled the diagram in the first lecture of warm up exercise itself so now i key, i give this duty to you all in the homework you will have to label all the parts of this plant and then you have to color the part of the plant which is under the ground in the brown color that is root part and then shoot part which is above the ground you have to color with the green color so you have to do this color work labeling work in your textbook only now those who are not having the textbook they will not be able to do in the textbook obviously so at least those who are having the textbook they will have to do this work of labeling and coloring now here they have written one question that what kind of root does this plant have now if you remember while i have explained you there are two types of root tap root and fibrous root so which type of root this plant have fibrous or tap root let me take you to that page again of the root of the types of root so as you can see that this is the page where the details of fibrous root and tap root is given and i have already explained you both the types in detail so now what do you think which type of root is this is it a fibrous or a tap root it is a tap root because if you can observe carefully if you observe it has one main root one thick main root and the other tiny roots are attached with it so this figure shows that this kind of root is said to be tap root because always in the tap root one main root is there and the other roots are attached with it unlike fibrous root so this is what i have helped you now rest of the labeling work and coloring work you have to complete and you have to send the photos to me so i hope my dear students will do that work as i can see that bojani sayeda and narjis these two students are doing their work regularly and sending me so i hope that all the students not only one or two all the students will do this work wholeheartedly and will send me the photos soon now let's move towards another part of the plant which is very beautiful and we human beings use it in the different ways that part is flower flower there are different kinds of flowers we like on the basis of which we even plant different trees and plants so let us get into this topic flower now i'm going to read and explain you this so most flowers are brightly colored and have a sweet smell some flowers have a pleasant smell most flowers change into fruits most fruits have one or more seeds inside them seeds grow into new plants thus flower are important to a plant as they help in it to the reproduction process so my dear students as you can see that it is clearly depicted in this diagram how flower changes to fruit and how further the seeds within the fruit helps in the reproduction of another plant of the same kind so here they have said that most of the flowers are brightly colored have the sweet smell and some flowers have the pleasant smell you know always we uh, you know many flowers are known for their smell now say for an example lotus flower as you know that lotus flower grows in the very bad dirty and muddy place but the smell of lotus flower is very pleasant so this is how the flowers are 
so most flower change into fruits now the example is given here my dear students you so can see that apple flower it is clearly labeled that this is how the apple flower looks like and then it turns into the fruit as it is stated here in these lines that most of the flowers turns into the fruit as you can see the apple flower and then it is written that seeds grow into the new plants so as you can see these are the seeds i will zoom in the picture for you as you can see that these are the seeds which are there in the apple fruit and even if you cut the apple fruit i know that you might have also have observed how the seeds are so if you sow the seeds in the ground another apple plant will grow so this is how the reproduction also takes place with the help of the flower not directly but indirectly flowers are also very very important parts of the plant so my dear students here they have said that cauliflower and broccoli are the examples of the flowers that we eat now this is very humorous point written here you must read it if you eat an apple seed by mistake obviously will it grow into a plant inside your stomach is it possible my dear students that when you are eating an apple and by mistake if you eat the seeds which are there within the apple will this kind of flower and tree grow inside your stomach oh no don't worry it will not happen this is just what the point is to discuss have you ever seen the plant or the tree grew inside the stomach of a human being it never happens our system is made such that it will never happen so it is just the point you need to think but anyways you don't have to eat the seeds you need to remove the seeds and eat now moving on towards the fruits we have discussed the flowers now let us discuss the topic of fruit now my dear students here it is said that fruits such as mango lychee and plum have a single seed inside them they only have single seed fruits such as apple orange and lemon as you can see in the picture have few seeds inside them and fruits such as pomegranate papaya and watermelon have many seeds we eat the fruits of many plants so we eat all kinds of fruits fruits having the single seed having few seeds or having many seeds within so we eat the fruits of many plants of different plants we eat the varieties of fruits and different fruits gives you different kinds of vitamins calcium iron and etc which is very much needful or helpful to your body seeds seeds are not different shapes sorry seeds are of different shapes my bad sizes and colors we eat seeds of plants such as wheat gram corn rice and bean so these are the varieties of the seeds we eat so i know that corn rice and bean these seeds are very famous or very much familiar to you these are edible seeds we can eat them that is why it is said edible seeds spices such as mustard and cumin add the flavor to our food so as you can see in the picture cumin is shown and rajma kidney beans it is known as rajma very famous it is and i know that 90% of you might have uh, eaten this rajma or if not eaten you might have seen this kind of seeds which is edible now coming on to the next topic germination 
germination so this word i hope that it is familiar to you because this word we have used previously in the worksheet and question bank solution as well when a seed gets the right amount of air water and warm it grows into a baby plant the process by which a seed grows into a new plant is called germination so germination is a process in this process a seed grows into the new plant so this process is called germination the new plant needs air water and light to continue growing so here it is rightly said that a new plant needs these three things in the right proportion in the right amount to continue growing so light and warmth from the sun a plant gets light that is sunlight obviously from the sun and the warmth needed warmth from the sun then we need to water them so this is the process how a seed will grow into a plant a germination will happen so as you can see in this picture seed you can see the seed and then when you water it it gets the right amount of sunlight and air slowly it grows into the plant and then the leaf will come out and then finally the plant will grow at its full fledge so this process is called germination by seed now it has become the big plant now further you know that it has the two part root and shoot these are the two parts of the plant root and shoot again shoot contains leaf stem yes bud flower these different parts are there in the shoot that is what we have already discussed so my dear students now in the last page of your textbook a summary is given for this lesson let us read these points and understand the summary of this chapter now a plant is divided into two main parts the root and the shoot the root takes in the water and minerals from the soil the shoot consists of stem leaves buds flowers and fruits so these three points i hope you will remember it again i would like to draw your attention towards the part of shoot that stem leaves buds flowers and fruits these all are the part of shoot that is the part of the plant which is above the soil above the ground the stem keeps a plant straight and upright it also carries water and food to different parts of the plant so my dear students a stem can only keep the plant upright and straight if it is strong if it is a trunk the leaves prepare the food for the plants the green leaves as it is already discussed it needs the air water and light in the proper amount to prepare the food for the plant and it is also known as therefore the kitchen of the plant flower changes into the fruit fruit contains seeds as you know that now that flower not all but few flower changes into the fruit as it was shown here in the textbook that apple flower changes into apple fruit and then it has a seed and if you again sow the seeds into the ground it will grow another it will grow into another plant this is how reproduction also takes place for the plant air water and warmth help the seed to grow into the new plant so for the seed for the process of germination these three things are very much important air water and warmth so this was the summary which covers every single point in brief not in detail 
as in detail you have already understood. So now I hope you will remember each and every aspect of leaf, flower, stem, their functions. So you will have to just read the lesson once again to recollect all the points and understand it precisely. Now we are going to solve the exercise objective which is given after your chapter gets over on page number 74 of your new textbook. Now as you can see here in the exercise objective questions are given. So the first exercise is of fill in the blanks with the correct words that means the options are given. You have to read the sentences you have to choose the correct word keep it in the blank to fill in the blank. Let us solve I suppose now if you have understood the lesson if you have under understood the chapter if you have read the chapter once with me or I can say if you have watched the lecture in the sequence you will be able to solve this very very easily. Question 1 the part of the plant that grows below the ground is called dash, root or shoot. So the part of the plant which grows below the ground. Let me show you the diagram again. Now here they have clearly depicted that the part of the plant which grows below the ground. Now as you can see this is the part of the plant which grows below the ground level. So what is it called? Obviously root. It is clearly labeled here root. So let us write the answer here root R -O, o T root and we will place it here in the blank. So the part of the plant that grows below the ground is called root. Now next question is a dash root appears bushy and has no main root. So which root appears bushy and does not have any main root. So again I would like to draw your attention towards one figure one diagram which we have already understood. This is the diagram. So which root appears bushy and has no main root. As you can see tap root it has one main root whereas fibrous root it has no main root and it appears very bushy. So obviously the answer is fibrous root. So we will write the answer here. Fibrous is the answer. Okay, next is dash. The dash carries water and food to all the parts of the plant. So, root carries the water and the food, or stem carries the water and the food. Obviously, stem because root absorbs the water from the soil and it passes towards the stem. And then stem passes it, carries the food and water and passes to the, all the parts of the plant. So stem is the correct answer here which we are going to write it down in the blanks. I hope that the students who are having the textbook, they are doing the job, the great job of filling these blanks with me. As these are the blanks which we are even going to write it down in the fair notebook later on when I will make the lecture and pass it on for the fair book content. Number 4, dash helps leaves to absorb the light. Is it chlorophyll or stomata? Obviously it is chlorophyll as we have read the lesson properly. So here is the answer chlorophyll. I hope that you are writing the answers properly at least those who are having the textbook and few smart students and I should say few genuine consistent students if even they are not having the textbook they are writing the answers in the rough book 
and then they are sending me the photos. So I must say that this is really good job you are doing. Now the last fill in the blank is most flowers change into dash. So most flowers changes into dash. Now I would like to show you the diagram again. So here you can see in this diagram most flower changes into what? Into fruit. So fruit is the answer. So let us write the answer. Fruit is the answer. We are going to write it down. So now I hope that you have also written the answer. So students now it's the time for you to repeat after me one time. These blanks and answers you will, ha you will have to repeat after me. So I hope you all are ready and you will repeat after me. The part of the plant that grows below the ground is called root. Okay, let us repeat the second number blank. A fibrous root appears bushy and has no main root. Number three, the stem carries water and food to all the parts of a plant. I hope my dear students you are repeating after me. Number four, chlorophyll helps leaves to absorb light. Number five, most flowers change into fruit. So these were the five fill in the blanks. No worries, again I am going to give it to you when I am going to give the theory part, the live board lecture, when I am going to make the theory part. So at that time also I will give you these fill in the blanks again. So I hope that you enjoyed the lecture. This is the end of explanation part of chapter number 7. So explanation of chapter number 7 contains the three parts of the lecture. I hope that you will watch these lectures again and you will understand the uh, chapter number 7 again. So just the last sentence I would like to say that keep following the lectures, keep reading the chapters so that you will be able to answer the question which will be from outside or made by me in SA1 exam. So with this I end my lecture. Thank you and goodbye.